Did you know that the acorns you step over every fall can be used to make a delicious flour, which can then be used to help make things like cookies, torts, gravy, pancakes, you name it. When foraging your acorns, be sure to check for ones that have black spots, holes, cracks, or caps that don't want to detach. What you're looking for here is evidence of weevils or other damage that could cause a bad nut. Once you get the acorns home, I do an additional float test. Any ones that do not pass and float to the surface get discarded. I dehydrate my acorns in the shell for long-term storage, then get to cracking. My fidgety self loves cracking acorns while watching shows, and Vasha likes to help out too. <laughs> they smell so good. As you shell your acorns, try to remove these papery coverings. These won't hurt you, but they are especially high in tannins, which is what we're going to go through the process of removing now. First, grind your acorns into flour. Then, I prefer to use the cold leaching method. Every day, you're going to dump off this leaching water. Replace the water and repeat until the acorn flour no longer has any of that bitter taste. Then, simply strain through a cheesecloth, dehydrate your flour, and then sift for a finer, finished product. Happy hunting and never eat anything you aren't sure of.